since your parents, your significant other, your friend, whoever, somebody sends you to the store to pick them up some water. They say, hey, I either want Fiji water or if they don't have Fiji water, then as a backup, I want Dasani. So they send you to the store with two options, the first option and the second option. But in the Ravens case, that Fiji water was Bobby Wagner and the Dasani ended up being Josh Bynes. And in a move that I don't think came to a surprise to, to anybody, the Ravens have re-signed Josh Bynes to a one-year deal. Um, and Josh Bynes was solid last year. Josh Bynes is somebody that the Ravens continue to keep uh, on the back burner as a just-in-case option, as a backup option, as a backup plan, just in case whatever other plans they have just don't work out. I'll take you back again to the 2019 season. We remember... It was supposed to be Peanut and Kenny Young, but Peanut and Kenny Young wasn't looking so good. Who did the Ravens call? Josh Bynes and LJ Fort. Uh, so then the following year, they were like, all right, we drafted him Patrick Queen. And you know what? We drafted Malik Harrison too. Patrick Queen and Malik Harrison didn't look so good. Who did they call? Well, it, it happened again. Then in 2021, same thing. They just keep bringing Josh Bynes back. So every time they re-sign him, it doesn't come as a shock to anybody. I think literally everybody expects it. But this is the thing that I'm going to tell you. Um, the Ravens, they cannot be done at inside linebacker. The reason I say that is because you tried to sign Bobby Wagner first for a reason. You brought in Josh Bynes. You keep bringing him in year after year after year for a reason. Because the options that one with Bobby Wagner, you try to get him before you re-sign Josh Bynes. So that tells you something. And then with Josh Bynes, Patrick Queen was your first option, but you still brought in Josh Bynes. After you gave Patrick Queen a shot, you tried to hand Patrick Queen the keys and it just it didn't work out. Now, um, when Josh Bynes stepped on the field, he did something that we've been talking about this offseason. He made Patrick Queen's job a lot easier. He allowed Patrick Queen to play a lot more freely, play a lot more loosely, play a lot more confidently, all while doing his thing. But see, the thing with Josh Bynes, Josh Bynes reminds me of Eric Weddle, uh, especially Eric Weddle's last couple years with the Ravens. Josh Bynes, he is such a smart player, man. He's such a smart player. But his body, sometimes his mind goes faster than his body. I know he's an older player. He ain't broken down by no means, so I'm not saying that. But I feel like his mind is faster than his body. Uh, because, like, with, with Josh Bynes, he is able to read and dissect an offensive play like that. But he can't always get to the spot. He can't always make the play because he can't always quite get there. If you mixed Josh Bynes' mind with Patrick Queen's speed, ooh -hoo, game over. <laughs> It'll be game over. Um, but you can't do that. So this is why the Ravens cannot be done at inside linebacker. They clearly wanted to upgrade. They missed out on upgrading, but then bringing back Josh Bynes, that's a cool move, but that can't be it. He does give you, again, a solid player in the middle, somebody who you know, is they, they're going to be solid for you. Are they going to take you over the top? I don't think so. And that's, of course, no disrespect to him at all. But I, I, I think the, the Ravens, they just need more. And they, again, they, I keep repeating it because the Ravens showed it already publicly. They were going after Bobby Wagner. Josh Bynes was not the Ravens' first choice. He wasn't. Patrick Queen, he was a first-round draft pick in 2020, and they still have been bringing in other guys at inside linebacker to help. So they know Patrick, they don't believe in Patrick Queen as their answer. They don't. Hopefully, things can change this year. Hopefully, there can be a shift this year where Patrick Queen just turns it on and it's like, all right, let's go, PQ. Because he showed the flashes last year and again. And he talked about how he, did, he didn't just play Will linebacker. He said last year he played Mike, he played Will, and even uh, he, he played it throughout the rest of the season when a lot of people felt like he got demoted or whatnot and, um, and his role changed. He said he had still been playing both. So that was that. But Ravens still, they, 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 they got to do more. They got to do more. 
it, it <laughs> Josh Bynes can't be the end all be all at inside linebacker. Um, because you can't just you can't keep relying on old faithful. And again, he's still solid now. He's still solid. But you know that you got to you got to solidify inside linebacker and you got to get a, a high quality guy, a younger guy, whether it's a rookie or whether you end up signing somebody else. But this cannot be it. It can't be done here. They can't be like, all right, hey, we straighten that. We ain't got to worry about no linebacker for the draft or for the rest of free agents. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. You still got to keep going. Now, um, the hope is that, of course, Patrick Queen, that he turns it up another notch. But Malik Harrison, it's a lot of unknowns with Malik Harrison. Um, so we we don't know if, if he's, if, if he's going to be inside linebacker. He's going to be more so an outside linebacker. We don't know what his role is going to be. And I don't think the Ravens know what his role is going to be either. Uh, it, it, it is to be determined. Um, so we'll wait to see what happens with that. Um, but the Ravens, they are... Man, um, they're getting pretty thin in, in quite a few different areas. Uh, linebacker right now, uh, well, inside linebacker. Just a lot of question marks there. Uh, still a lot of question marks with the defensive line. Um, with <laughs> somebody commented on one of our Melvin Gordon videos from today, and they said, hey, they said, I'm, I'm a Broncos fan. Good luck. <laughs> I should have replied to them, well, I don't believe in luck. I don't believe in that. So I don't need it. You can keep your good luck because it ain't doing nothing for nobody because I don't believe in it. But um, that, that was just funny to see that about Melvin Gordon. So we'll see what happens with that. But anyway, again, solid move. One-year deal. You know it's not going to be for anything crazy. Probably going to be for the vet minimum. So, I mean, you ain't got to trip over how much cap it'll take up or anything like that. It ain't going to take up no crazy cap. But, again... You can't be done here. I hope Ravens don't feel like they're done here. I hope Ravens don't feel like, all right, we nailed it. and that, uh, That's it. All right, wrap it up. No. No, no, no. So, anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. Welcome back. Another year, Josh Bynes. Um, and, again, I, it, it, we should be grateful that Josh Bynes still can do what he does. But think about this. Like, think about this. We are... We, we continuously keep calling back, a, and he's not a bad player. He's not. But this shows you just how much Ravens plans at inside linebacker. They just falling apart. We keep calling on a linebacker, an inside linebacker, that once had to take the place of Ray Lewis. So Josh Bynes, yeah, he was on that Super Bowl team, of course, with the Ravens. But Josh Bynes is somebody that had to fill in for Ray Lewis at one point. So we, we continuously have to call on somebody who played in a completely different era of football. <laughs> and again, kudos to, uh, to Josh Bynes. Shout out to Josh Bynes for being able to still play that long. Because again, that Super Bowl year was what, 2012? They won it in 2013, so that's the 2012 season. And he... Ten, 10 years strong, still going, still going. So that says a lot about his work ethic. That says a lot about his skill. That says a lot about him as a player uh, and just him as a grinder too. So shout out to him. But this, again, it, it, it can't be it. So we'll see how the Ravens address inside linebacker moving forward. Um, I'm, I don't know, man, but I guess we'll see. Love y'all, appreciate y'all. And like Josh Bynes told the Ravens, he wouldn't be. I'm out.